When most people think of the Spirit Rider and Bullet at Oklahoma State, they picture them here in the tunnel and on the field at Boone Pickens Stadium. But it all starts right here in the practice pen with just her and Bullet. I spent 24 hours with Caitlin Smith, the 2021 Spirit Rider, and the oh-so-famous Bullet to get an inside look at their practice routine and game day activities. I drive up here three days a week, um, Tuesday, Thursday, and then Friday afternoons to ride him. So in the beginning, a lot of it was just getting us back into shape, getting us ready for football season. So we do a lot of long trotting, which builds good muscle, a lot of loping, which builds some of his wind capacity. Um, we go left and right. Sometimes he can be a little bit stubborn, and so we work a lot of just making sure that he's listening to me and the body cues that I want him to have on the field. A lot of it is just building the trust, so it may seem like medial work where we come out and we're just going in circles sometimes, but I also know that that's time for me and him to build that trust with each other so that when we get on the field, I can feel him and know how he's going to kind of operate and maybe kind of predict what he's going to do before he does it. How do you prepare for game day? Game days are so hard for me to prepare for because I feel like the right answer is a lot of sleep and eating well so I don't get sick, but I'm usually so like anxious and excited, so I will drive up here typically on Friday night, ride him, make sure that everything's in the trailer, ready to go. Um, some situations I'll stay the night at the ranch and get up Saturday morning with Miss Jennifer and help take him to Stillwater. Other times I'll drive home and meet her and we will saddle him. I get to ride him at the equestrian center and so I'll ride him, make sure he's bathed and he looks his best and then we will haul down to start our tailgating. So we always start the block party and we'll just take a lot of pictures there and kind of get in our mode. And then we move to the Alumni Center where we take some more pictures. I get to warm him up again. And then we get to go down to the tunnel for the band run. And we sit in the tunnel, um, we have a little stall area under there. Jennifer will always shut the door down um, so it's quiet and it's just us in there and I can kind of relax and he can kind of relax and there's not a lot of noise. And then we'll walk out into the tunnel and my favorite part is she always makes me take a deep breath, tells me to enjoy it. We go out for the band run. The band run is a really unique experience and I think that's my favorite part. What is going through your mind when you go out for the band run or a touchdown run? I remember my first band run, I, my name gets confused a lot. So my name is Caitlin, but I get called Kathleen a lot. And I just remember thinking, make sure they say your name right. So if, if they don't, we can correct it for the next game. And so I basically heard my name. Caitlin Smith, here comes Bullet! I, I couldn't tell you what really went through my mind for the band run. I was so excited and full of adrenaline. And for touchdown runs, it's always really exciting. Touchdown runs are a little more stressful. There's refs and football players and coaches everywhere that you're trying to clear from the field. So usually my thought is just making sure that we're safe, keeping my eyes up and not getting too wrapped up in the moment that I kind of forget to check my surroundings. Is that why you call the Spirit Rider team your secret service? Yes, so the Spirit Rider team, the ground crew, there are six of them this year and they are the ones who are looking out for all of the things that maybe I will miss. So they are going to be aware they're pulling players out of the way, refs out of the way. We have some awesome deputies that are down on the field that assist with us. They are the ones who make sure that camera cords aren't strung in front of us right before we run out or that crazy things aren't being thrown onto the field. And so they are the ones that are making sure everyone and everything is staying safe. Um, that's kind of their number one goal. Smith was on the Spirit Rider ground team for the last two years before becoming the Spirit Rider. So being on the field with Bullet on game days is not new. But spending her senior year football season riding Bullet across the field has been a goal of hers since she arrived at OSU. Smith is well qualified for her position with Bullet, but her experience comes from the rodeo arena instead of the football stadium. So I'm on the OSU college rodeo team, and there I specifically compete in the barrel racing and the breakaway roping. Growing up, I was what we kind of call like an all-around cowgirl, so I did all of the events that they would let me do when I was in junior rodeo. You've been a rodeo queen before. Yes. What is your experiences in rodeo queening? I got involved the end of my freshman year of high school, and I won the Oklahoma High School Rodeo Queen title, and I was pretty much hooked from there. And I ran consecutively for three years, so I recompeted every year I was eligible to in high school and was able to serve as the Oklahoma High School Rodeo Queen for three years. How has being a rodeo queen and competing in the sport of rodeo prepared you for being the spirit rider and riding bullet? 
Something that's really cool about Bullet that I think I took for granted with my own horses is just really the pure magic that other people see in horses. It's easy to kind of lose that when you're around them every day. Getting to be a rodeo queen and interact with those who do look up to the rodeo queens and now getting to interact with people when we go take pictures at tailgates has really prepared me of just knowing like how special that is to other people and just really rodeo in general. Um, I think a lot of people forget that there are tons of people on the football field who have never been around a horse and have never seen a horse or maybe they have because they're an OSU football player and they still forget that we have a live horse in the field. Caitlin Smith looks forward to the opportunity to ride Bullet at the Bedlam game. That opportunity only comes for half of the Spirit Riders. She will continue to compete with the rodeo team through the spring before she graduates in May. For more information, check out facebook.com slash herecomesbullet or visit their Instagram, at officialosubullet. Someone else will take over Caitlin's role next year, but we know Bullet will be in good hands.